telling you, G-Dog, man, old people in rap don't mix. Oh, I wouldn't exactly call my parents old. I mean, they still get down, they just don't get back up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, Michael. Hey, Dad. So, how was uh, rehearsal? Oh, man, it was all that. What did all that mean? It was fat. Yo, shit. that song G Dog wrote is dope. <laughs> G Dog. I, I, I like that. Uh, that explains the fire hydrant in your room. <laughs> oh, come on. G Dog is my rap name, Dad. Oh, let me introduce you to the fellas. My boy right over here. This is the Mad Gatter. <laughs> Kid right over here, this is Shell Shocked. If your parents call, who would they ask for? Ira. <laughs> uh, Clarence, man. We call our group handcuffed, right? It's a metaphor for the restraints that society has put upon us. Yeah, the restraints put upon us by the man. <laughs> And who exactly is the man? My dad. <laughs> oh, do you want to hear this new song we've been rehearsing? Yeah, sure. Sure, let me, let me, let me check it out. Cool. Yeah. Uh, uh, Jerry, get in here. Handcuffs in the house. Did you say someone was cuffed? No, 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 no. It's Michael's new group. It's called Handcuffed. It's a metaphor for the man. What man? Ira's father. <laughs> Ready to hit it, y'all? Here we go. <laughs> So what do you think? Arrest me, arrest me. <laughs>
It's like I told you. It's only one way a black man can get all this. Credit? <laughs> no, fool. Selling out. Rod, you gotta help me. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Your, your first day as a substitute teacher and you falling apart already? Man, it was horrible. They pushed me, they kicked me, they slapped me around. <laughs> they called me Fat Boy. They said I was bigger than Barney. And then they stole my lunch. Man, those kids can be tough. That was the teachers. <laughs> then I had to deal with those little kindergartners. The cute little kids, not much older than Cece. See, Rob, you never been bum rushed by 40 sticky finger, Power Ranger loving, cartoon watching kids who all got a potty at the same time. <laughs> Window, get them tomorrow and nap time. Mm mm, mm mm. I'm not going back tomorrow. And you gonna call the principal and tell her. <laughs> tell her what? You got your butt kicked by a bunch of five year olds? <laughs> Someone was six. <laughs> Wendell, what kind of friend would I be if I let you get out of your responsibilities? A friend I can count on. Look, I'm not asking you to drive the Bronco, man. <laughs> Wendell, make the call. Be right. It's time I'll be a man. Be a man. 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 <laughs> Hello, Miss Boyce. <laughs> this Wendell Wilcox will call about my availability. What would you think if I had my own phone? I'd think you had your own apartment. <laughs> my friend Crystal has her own phone. Why can't I have one? Because Crystal's parents won't buy you one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a shame. Yeah. What? The kids say they love me. <laughs> All the kids say they love me. <laughs> well, I kind of love some of them, too. <laughs> Okay, I'll be there tomorrow. Okay. Hi. Right. Bye. Damn! Hey, Andre. Yeah. Finally, some privacy. I miss you. I miss you, too. You're the bomb, girl. I'm just keeping it real, boo. How are you gonna eat it? Kids, watch me. Looks like uh, G Dog is one sad puppy. Maybe he should change his name again to Droop Doggy Dog. Son, we know you're disappointed about our decision, but you and the guys could come up with another song to do with the show. Uh, I don't think so, Mom. They're gonna be singing D O A, and I'm O U T. That spells. <laughs> no, that spells out, which is what I am since they dumped me from the group. Oh. I'm sorry, Michael, but we don't like the message of that song. See, the guys are right. You just don't get it. What we sing about is reality, and you guys would understand that if you hadn't sold out. No, uh, no, no, he didn't sing no. so down. Oh, yes, he did. <laughs> Young man, you're about to be thrown out of another group. I hope I'm packed. <laughs> No, Michael is right. It's time you knew the truth about your family. You come from a long line of sellouts. In fact, the first one to sell out was your great, 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 great grandfather, Umbutu Peterson. When he came over on the boat, there was a slave auction. All right, you slaves. Let's settle down and listen up. We're gonna change some of them funny sounding African names of yours into something that we can pronounce. Something that'll look good on the back of a basketball jersey. What's your name? Come on! What's your name? What's your name? Gunda!
Makatata, Umeketete, Makatata, Mfutu Malik, Makuta Nakeketene, Kina Nakakata, Toto Nene Kepa, Shakalaka. Well, we see Toby's taken, and so I was thinking about Robert. You know, Bobby, you can call me Bobby, and Wendell, and we're not really into cotton, but we were thinking, could we pick some wool? You know, wool is another fiber. And those be your roots, son. <laughs> Go ahead, Dad, make jokes. But I want my music to express reality. And I'm, I'm surrounded by nothing but comfort and luxury. I didn't mean to be so hard on you. <laughs> So I'll just go upstairs and disconnect that sellout VCR, that sellout stereo, your sellout television. Anybody else want to suffer for their art? Hey, all I want is a sellout phone. <laughs> look, 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 all I'm saying is that if I had achieved what you have, I would not turn my back on where I came from. Michael. Robert, that boy doesn't realize how hard we work to get where we are. We have to talk to him. Honey, we don't have to apologize to anybody for what we've earned especially somebody named G-Dog. And he said I couldn't eat it. Hey, Chief. Did you get yourself something to eat? I didn't know I was allowed to eat here anymore. Uh, sure you are. The law says I have to feed you. <laughs> I'm, I'm not that hungry, okay? Right. Starving artist. Michael, if you're gonna write a rap song, why don't you write a rap song about your own reality? Oh, yeah, my, my reality's really hardcore. Got CD-ROM computer, premium cable, yogurt in the fridge, and quiche on the table. I like that. Okay. Let's go. Where? To Harlem. To reality. What, now? It's getting dark. Uh, yes, now, before it closes. <laughs> No, 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 no. See, it's dangerous up there. Don't you watch the news? I don't have to. I heard your song, D-O-A, arrest me, arrest me. <laughs> Listen, it's okay, Dad. I've been up to Harlem. No, no, no. We've gone to the museum. You've never walked the streets. Let's go. Hey, where are you guys going? Dad's got this crazy idea about us going up to Harlem now. I don't think so. At last, some sanity. Thank you very much. I may not dress like that. You look like a tourist. Come here, baby. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta get that in. Some, we gotta get some hip in our house. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, now you gotta go on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My two gangsters. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, this is crazy. They don't play around up there. Chill out, baby. You'll blend right in. Come on. Get in. See you later. We hope. Mm -hmm. Buck, 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 arrest me! Hello? Peterson Residence. To who are you speaking, please? <laughs> oh, right, me. <laughs> I'll call you back. Okay. You guys are dead meat. <laughs> Ma! Ah! Oh! Oh! Help depends on what you did to Zaria. Well, we're just talking like Zaria talks on the phone. I don't talk like that. Yes, you do. Listen. Sissy, we don't need to go there. <laughs> I'm just keeping it real, boo. Just hate me. <laughs> See, Mom, I have no privacy. We'll give you some right now. Get back here, you little wiretappers. I didn't buy you this tape recorder so you could spy on your sister. Oh, you can just spy on her. 
Well, go on there again. No, 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 I want to hear this. Cece, what else have you taped? I taped you and Daddy last night. <laughs> really? <laughs> I think Mommy will take this tape. You're brushing your teeth. <laughs> Nicholas, Cece, in this house, we respect each other's privacy. And we never tape someone without their permission. Do you understand? Now go to your rooms and no TV. That's what I get for hanging with a three-year-old. <laughs> if you can do better. See what I mean, Mom? I have no privacy. I have no room. I have no phone. You have no income. <laughs> income. Let me explain the concept of income. When you have income, in comes the phone, in comes the clothes, in comes the food. What you have is the outcome of no income. How am I gonna get income? I'm 15. Cooking, cleaning, babysit while I'm studying? What are my other options? You can use that nasty phone at the gas station. I think I'll take option number one. I didn't have a chance, did I? Nah. We've been up here 10 minutes and we haven't come across a body yet. But you know what, the, the, the night is young and I want to grow old, so let's go home. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Check out that drug dealer. The ice cream man? You think he's selling ice cream. Those kids are way too happy. He's selling crack sickles. Don't get to close that baby carriage, unless you want to get smoked. Smoked? That baby is strapped. What? That's what they call a G-baby. With a G-mama. Down, Dad. Some people might get the wrong idea. Yo! Like those guys. All right. Trouble. That's what we came up here for. Nope, nope. Not... Now, Dad, let's just get out of here, please. What's up? What's up? <laughs> What's up with you? What you want to do? You better recognize. <laughs> hey, what you want to do? Hey, hey, what we want to do is we want to leave. No, we, we didn't come uptown to back down. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, hey, listen, guys, uh, I'm really sorry. I'm gonna, gonna have to apologize for my dad. <laughs> dad, 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 it's time to go back home, back to the padded cell. Come on, let's go, let's go back to the padded cell. And who are you? Me. Oh, I'm just... <laughs> Just, just Michael Peterson, just that. Michael Peterson? That's your sellout name. Tell him your name in the hood. This is G-Dog. <laughs> and, and, and I'm his daddy, which makes me G-Dog, daddy, daddy of the dog. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. Yeah, I'm dog, daddy dog of the dog of the daddy, whatever you want to call it. Uh-huh. <laughs> I can't do this no more, Mr. Peterson, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, this is uh, Rashawn, Damon, and Terrell, a few guys from the uh, community center. What's up? Oh, man. Yeah. Hey, what's up, man? Communities. So then you come up here? Yeah. Yo, old man, he teaches our college prep course. Oh, uh, you never told me that. I don't tell you everything. It's just something I do. Matt Gatter. <laughs> G-Dog, what's up, man? <laughs> so, uh, what group are you singing with now? I thought you were supposed to be a rapper. Me? Oh, yeah, Clarence is a rapper, all right. Mm -hmm. In five minutes, he'll be rapping cheeseburgers. <laughs> <laughs> He's a working man, guys. Lay off of him. So what you doing up here, anyway? Well, actually, I came up to check out the hood, and you know it's not quite the way you described it. Boy, man, you know the deal? Hardcore sales. Yeah, that's right, that's right. If you want to sell out your community. <laughs> yeah, well, whatever. Hey, look, I'm dropping fries tonight, so I got to go. <laughs> hey, if I'm late, the clown gets mad. <laughs> See you, Clarence. 
So wait, you and your friends set me up, huh, Dad? I just wanted to show you that this neighborhood isn't the war zone you wrote about in your song. It's not paradise, but the sun shines up here, too. You know, I would have gotten the point without you trying to scare me to death. True. But it wouldn't have been as much fun for me. <laughs> Look, Dad, um, I'm sorry that I said some really dumb things to you today. Hey, you say some dumb things every day. <laughs> Look, I, I know you and Mama worked really hard to get what we have, and I just want to let you know that I appreciate that. Thanks, huh? That means a lot to me. Just for that, I'm gonna buy you a cracksicle. Come on. All right. It's the best cracksicles in town. Really? Yeah. Uh, let me see. To be honest, I don't know when I can pick that cotton for you, Mr. Gilmore. <laughs> uh -huh. Right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I might have it. No, that's not gonna work either. That's not gonna work. Did you try, you try Kunta Kinte? 